Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Fish Tank in the Woods. This was my camp spot. As you can see, we're tearing it down. There's Hoover tearing his stuff down, and even the fine Schmecka in his patented lime green shirt he's been wearing for 942 miles. I have not seen the man in another shirt, ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> So yeah, we're packing up. The plan is to get down to the store down here at Tuolumne Meadows. We need to resupply for five or six days to get us to the uh, Sonora Pass area, mile 1016. Really epic because we will hit the 1000 mile mark, which is insane. Um, and uh, we're going to have some bacon and eggs down there, I think. And then we're going to hit the trail. But... Uh, so interesting story I uh, didn't tell you guys about. So when we were coming off of Half Dome two days ago, I set my pack down because we were really thirsty and we needed water. We didn't have any. So I set my pack down and we walked down the river. We were gone maybe 20 minutes is all, 30 minutes tops. Came back and a squirrel, they're ravenous creatures, chewed a hole through my pack. Right there. And was munching on the remnants of a cookie. Ravenous little monkeys with tentacles and claws, and they're just, they're horrible. And I'm pretty sure it was rabid. <laughs> that or it had Lyme disease, what would it be? <laughs> um, Rape the plague. Schmecka said it had the plague. Pretty sure this one had the plague because it was frothing at the mouth, or maybe that was just, maybe that was just a. It's the cujo of squirrels. It was the cujo of squirrels. It was frothing at the mouth, but that may have had something to do with the macadamia nuts it was eating. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's going to be a great day. Hope this finds everybody healthy, happy, and well. I know I am, the new slimmer, the more slender me. Although my shirt did try to crawl away last night, but I hit it with a trekking pole. Yeah. So you can, you know how you can buy distressed jeans in the store? I'm going to open up a chain of clothing stores called PCT Hiker Memories, and it's basically going to be shirts with big sweat rings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take these shirts out to construction sites and ask men to wear them as they work all day, and then just put them on the, 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 the hanger at the store. Uh, the store is just going to be a wall tent, and uh, these are, you're going to pay a premium for these shirts. Um, uh, something such as this, you know, this shirt was $29, but with these sweat rings, this is a $300 shirt. So, yeah. I will be taking orders, uh, get a hold of me, it's going to be 1-800-STINKY-BUTT, and we'll go from there. Yeah. See you guys later. <laughs> hey everybody, so we're leaving Tuolumne Meadows, me, the chef, and fine Schmecka, Hoover, and Magneto are maybe an hour in front of us, they hike faster. Um, we didn't say our goodbyes, but they just hike a lot faster than us. So we uh, told them happy trails, and we'll we'll get them later. But our plan is 74 miles puts us at Sonora Pass, and that puts us at 1,016 miles on the PCT every mile hiked, which is crazy. Um, we're looking at uh, maybe getting into South Lake Tahoe here in the next week. But yeah, so just bugging out of here it's been fabulous uh summited half dome which you guys saw that was epic and just the yosemite valley and just how beautiful this part of the world is um you know i've been a little spoiled being from star valley wyoming and yellowstone and grand teton national park and even some of the beautiful areas of salt lake city utah and, and southern utah but man there's just so much beauty out here it's just it's crazy um, I've probably taken over a thousand pictures in the last couple of days I, I I just keep I can't put my camera away but we're super excited to be back out on trail um, very fortunate to have been able to be out here over three months and hike almost a thousand miles from the border of Mexico uh, up to Yosemite Valley. This is just, I can't believe I've, I cannot believe I've walked almost a thousand miles. What a great way to spend uh, the summer of 2018. 
Um, just unbelievable, super grateful, super humbled by all of this. So there you go. There's the chef. There's the fine schmecka. And uh, we had a great campfire last night. We hung out with uh, some uh, people from Australia that actually got married uh, on trail six days ago. And their plan is to summit um, Half Dome tomorrow and take their wedding pictures. So that's pretty cool. So, hope this finds everybody well. I know I am. I love you all. Thanks for following. Thanks for cheering me on. Thanks for supporting me. You guys have a good day. Hey everybody, Fish Tank here. Now 946.2 of the PCT. Man, I've got a surprise set up for about three days from now. I want to tell you guys about it so ba so 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 bad, but not going to yet. You gotta wait. But uh, look at this cool area right here. You got fine schmeck over there pondering life. That really cool little pool. Just crystal clear right up in there. It comes down. Just beautiful. Just epic. Um, good hike this morning out of Tuolumne Meadows. We've gone, I don't know, three, four miles. We're going to push it another five, which uh, anytime you can get close to ten, eight, nine, ten after leaving a town. Tuolumne Meadows really wasn't a town, but I'm going to call it a town because they had a post office and a store. Got our resupply packs a little heavy with food, but we've got enough to get us to Sonora Pass. At Sonora Pass, we can ditch these bear canisters. Hate them. Not a big fan of the bear canisters. But from Sonora Pass, we can hitch into uh, our next resupply point, which is going to be Kennedy Meadows North. Kind of weird, there's a Kennedy Meadows South and a Kennedy Meadows North. They're not in the same meadow. They're 300 plus miles apart. Trail miles, so, I don't know, kind of weird. But, just a little melancholy right now, thinking back of the the past three months. Just been an amazing adventure. Starting out in Campo with a pack that was too heavy and gear I didn't need. And over, you know, 30 pounds overweight. Through the desert, you know, to uh, Lake Morena and Mount Laguna, then into Julian and Paradise Valley. Ida Wild, you know, up around San Jacinto, just all the cities we've come in contact with, Tehachapi, and just, you know, just all these land, these these landmarks on the PCT, and every mile marker from 100 up to, so far 900, a thousand, just 50 miles up the road here, up the trail here, just real, uh, Real grateful, super, super grateful. Um, I look at what I've set out to do and what I set out to accomplish, and uh, I've changed so much, and I've sure learned a, an awful lot about myself, and I've met such cool people along the way. So, uh, I highly recommend if anybody ever has the inclination to do something like this that you get out and you try it it's going to be the same it's going to be different for it's not going to be the same for two, any two people it's going to be different for everyone some of the struggles i deal with are are going to be different than struggles somebody else deals with but the joys and the highs they're unbelievable so our plan is to get another 5.3 miles to a Pretty cool tent site up on top of this. I won't even call it a pass anymore. It's more like a little little hill. Pa passes are behind us. Um, we'll camp there, and I think that puts us about 951. That puts us within 49 miles of the 1,000 mile mark. And I haven't seen it, but I hear it's big. I'm excited about that. So here we are. And there is a very round boulder out in the middle of a big rock slab.
to give a shout out. And I know I've probably forgotten people along the way, but those of you that have been watching my vlog, the intro where I'm in the police car and I transition into my hiking clothes, that was actually done by my uncle Robert. And uh, he took some time out of his schedule and he threw that intro together in just a few minutes. I mean, it took a while to drive up there and do it. That was time out of his day, but as far as, I mean, he's really talented, super talented. Um, but I just want to tell you, uh, Robert, if you're watching, uh, I think you are. Uh, thanks for thanks for taking the time out and helping with that intro. Um, it's actually, I've gotten so many compliments on it out here on trail. Uh, it's really cool. And, you know, you did the long version. He did the long version for me, and then he made several shorter versions. So, huge shout out to uh, my Uncle Robert. Uh, negative K, nothing further.